And they said he was only about his father's business. He was only about his father's interest. And now he's willing to die without flinching and even asking his father to forgive them. He was only about his father's business. He was only about his father's interest. And now he's willing to die without flinching and even asking his father to forgive them. Welcome back, this breaking news is Damon, I'm taking you to the tradesman arraignment. Let's see what they conclude. I'm live at San Mateo Courthouse. They have in custody the shepherd of the sheep, but the flock have all bounced. Judge Pollitt walks out rocking the long gown and all round the courtroom is covered in wall-to-wall frowns. Judge asked how he's pleading to what they charging with. Terror and conspiracy and converting accomplices. The stenographer coughs again, breaking the awkwardness cause all of his questions the carpenter keeps disregarding them. Mr. Christos, you need to speak, yo. They trying to hit you with that capital P, bro, but I could veto. Stared in his eyes like a peephole, he finally spoke. He said, your power is not as large as your ego. The judge slammed the gavel down and derobed since he a carpenter. A death by nails and wood the jury chose. He was only about his father's business. He was only about his father's interest. And now he's willing to die without flinching and even asking his father to forgive them. He was only about his father's business. He was only about his father's interest. And now he's willing to die without flinching and even asking his father to forgive them.